Hey folks, just wanted to go over a couple of things. Uh, now that things seem to be picking up a little bit with my paintings, um, I just want people to understand really what goes into the, each and every one of my paintings. The time is, uh, you know, it, it, there's a lot of time. You don't, you can't really capture it all on video. It's just too many hours. Um, I'm sure you can imagine, but um, from a guy that's raising two kids, I don't have a lot, a lot of money to, to play with. And um, two years ago, I started this because I couldn't really put the time in I wanted to for tattooing. So I needed something else to really bring me where I need to be to be able to raise my kids. Um, so I started getting back into the airbrushing, which I started when I was 16. And I'm picking up where I left off from New York. Um, but just to give people an idea of what goes into them as far as materials, um, this is a polyurethane paint that's used on cars. Um, I don't use acrylics, I don't use oils, I don't use traditional stuff that are at the art store. This is all automotive paint. <clears throat> and the reason why I did that, excuse me, is because I want to be able to go from my, my paintings on board and do exactly everything I do on, on my canvas boards. I could go directly to a motorcycle gas tank or a car or signs, uh, outdoor, you know, conditions. So they're, they're very durable when I get done with them. I mean, they're still, you still want to be careful with them. They do scratch, they will chip, but um, they won't stain or anything like that. Um, but just to give you an idea, you know, these little, just these little bottles of paint, uh, little four ounce bottles, they're, they're about 30 bucks each, all depending on the color or uh, candies, I have all these different candies, which I wanna get more of, you know, the, the more materials that I have, the, the nicer I could do my paintings. Um, everything goes from acetone, lacquer thinner, you can see over here, the reducers are for the paint, um, the acetone is for the primer, which is in the back there, I got a quart. A quart of this stuff is like 60 bucks, with the hardener, and I can only, I can only do these boards. Um, I could do, I think, four. I get away with four of them for uh, half a quart, which isn't too bad. It's it's pretty good. It's better than the Rust-Oleum, ten dollar quart. I don't like Rust-Oleum primer. Um, this stuff is professional. It, it's it's the best stuff for my job. It works the best. I just had to keep upgrading everything as I moved along because of issues with, um, you know, just to keep my process smooth running and to have the least amount of problems so I could get these paintings done in a, in a reasonable amount of time. Um, now that it's getting more of a professional level, I want to be able to tell people, you know, from the day I start my painting, you start your painting, it'll be done in, in, in a week or two weeks. I want to be able to keep to that. Um, and I ask for a deposit when I get started and then uh, a balance when, when I'm finished with the painting. And then a lot of times I need the shipping um, added, tacked on to the, the price of the painting. It's just, it's costly to ship them. If I had the money and I was making, you know, more money, um, I can throw in some of that stuff with the, the initial price. Um, but again, I just wanted to show you some of the products. You know, I go from, go from these are the, the, the masking materials. I, I buy a roll at a time, this and this, and then uh, this is some special effects. Um, this is the clear coat here. Um, and then the white, I use a lot of white because I paint my boards white as a base. And then uh, I do my painting on top of that. <clears throat> In the future, I'll buy larger amounts. Of course, it's less costly. If I could buy a gallon of paint, um, you know, it, I just don't have that kind of money to lay out right now.
So if I buy a thing of white like this, you know, this will cost me almost $80, $90. Um, and the black, same thing, because I use a lot of black. Taco wants to talk. What's up? You want me to open the window? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there's a lot of money right here in front of you as far as uh, my materials, everything. Sandpaper, tape, all these little rolls of tape. They're pricey. Uh, the sandpaper is not too bad. The Sorel. This helps me transfer the design onto the board. Plus I have the computer and I have the latest uh, computer programs and stuff to create this art and uh, transfer it onto the board. And uh, like this is one of the boards here. It's just primed. I like to get them pre-prepared. So I'm actually on my way to Home Depot right now and I get some more wood and uh, I do that all at home. Uh, I put these boards together, I prime them, and I leave them primed so when a customer's going to come and uh, get one done, I could just wet sand it, shoot it with white, and as a part of the process, that helps when I do it fresh like that. It, it, it's easier for the process. I have less problems. So you can see, you know, this is one of the boards. And uh, I Gorilla Glue them down and staple them. Um, you should get like God, 100 years out of these things that's that's the whole idea behind it is you want them to last so anyway um, I gotta get going a couple of boxes to run to the post office and then off to Home Depot and uh, I gotta get some more boards built I got one painting ready to go in the back there and uh, finishing up that one I'm almost done with that one. But for all my fans and friends, I really appreciate all your your time just watching my videos and taking the time to comment. Um, I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. I don't have anything else um, at this point. I just, the kids need so much time. I wanna give them the time they deserve. Um, and by doing this at home, I can do that. That's what's so terrific about it. And plus, I gotta take care of Taco. He takes care of me. Come on, you wanna be on TV? Huh? No? <laughs> anyway, thanks for your time. Have a great day.